Hey YouTube, we're going to do a quick little video on battery maintenance. This is going to be my, this is a L16 battery bank. It's a Crown 400 amp hour and it's got an automatic watering kit on it. So we'll just jump right in here. This is my hydrometer. It is the hydrometer I provide with almost all the systems I do that have a uh, battery watering kit. So this battery watering kit, if you're looking Great thing about it, obviously, you connect this tank up to it, you can water your batteries almost instantaneously. And these little float valves, these little white float valves will pop up when the battery's full and keep it from putting any more water into the cell. If you want to check specific gravity on a cell, all you got to do is pop these little ports and you can conveniently siphon out some... some uh, electrolyte and it'll come up and when the when the float starts floating you don't have to get it all the way to the top but it'll tell you what the specific gravity is so there you get a 1.28 some light on it 1.28 or you can read it speed read it in the green you got green yellow red but I've just taken the specific gravities of all of these every single cell on this bank and it's all reading 1.28 so that's a great thing to see and you would just go through and depending on what kind of guy you were or gal you would uh, take the gravity record the cell uh, specific gravity of each cell and you number them and you do that um, once every three weeks once a month once every month and a half however it depends on how much you're cycling the battery and how much you're using it. If you're grid tied and you're barely using your battery, you're not going to have to do this as much. But if you aren't grid tied and you're off grid, you, you might be doing this as often as once a week. And when you test your specific gravity of your battery, what it's telling you is the true health of your battery. So on most of your systems, you're going to have uh, your monitors that are reading shunts and, and reading different kind of... Uh, you know electrical equipment in here and it's it's giving you a good idea of what the state of charge and the health of the battery is but this is all electronic equipment it's algorithmic and it, it's not going to be perfect right the battery's got charge inefficiencies these things have inefficiencies and over time these meters are going to be an error and they're going to and that error is going to compound so what you want to do is every now and then you want to check your battery and if it's reading 100 percent here make sure that these are also reading full so at the time that your, your system says full charge, check the specific gravity of all the cells. If it reads 100% on there, it should read about in the 1.275 neighborhood or 1.27 in this on, on the specific gravity of the batteries. Um, your battery manual will tell you what specific gravity should be based on you know different cells or different battery manufacturers, but it's usually around 1.27. And that's what you have on here, is you have, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it shows shows the values, and then it shows, you know, your good range is 126 to 130. And um, you, you need to make sure that your battery bank is reading full, full charge, because if you start testing specific gravities when it's low, when the battery's low, then it's obviously not going to read full. And that's really uh, all there is to checking specific gravities. I do have a, this is a good little hydrometer. It's not just like your cheap auto parts store version. This is about 50 bucks. It is German. So it says the Akusa Pufa. Maybe check, I don't know. But it, they're, they're pretty good. The only ones I can find that fit the little ports on the automatic watering kit. Um, I'll show you how the auto watering kit works real quick. Put a little water in there. And it has a uh, hose. It has a hose and then it has a wheel to tell you when it's taking water. And on one end of your auto watering kit, there's going to be this little nozzle. You just take this sucker, connect it up, and if there's any water for these things to take on, this wheel will spin. Now this battery's got plenty of water in it, so it's not going to spin. But if it, if, it, if it was going to take water, you would see this wheel spinning. And when the wheel stops, you've taken all the water you need. I usually shake it a little bit, give, 
give the hoses a little thump just to make sure that there's no air bubbles stopping it. But I can tell this one's full because I've already been messing with it. So thank you for watching my video on battery maintenance. And uh, if you want to see more videos, hopefully when we have time we'll get more up. Put in a lot of these systems past few years, and these have kind of been my flagship, the Magnum with the uh, Magnum inverters and the Midnight Classic charge controllers. If you want to go into an equalize with the Midnight, you're going to go, should probably look like this. You'll see the main menu. That's probably going to be the screen you start at. You need to be in float and be reading full. You're going to hit main menu. You're going to select charge if it's not already selected from the main menu. You're going to go down to EQ, hit enter, and then where it says press up button to start EQ, all you got to do is press that up button. And it says press down button to stop EQ. And that means that the EQ is started. And if you have another charge controller, you can see that the voltage has started to climb. If you don't have another charge controller and you want to see what happens, don't go down or anything like that. Just hit status again. And you'll see that it says equalize down here in the corner. And once it reaches the equalization set points, why the equalize will stop. And another thing you'll see when you do the equalize is you can hear the batteries start to, they start to bubble. It almost sounds like Sprite or something, or some kind of a soft drink that you're drinking. Another way to do it, if the battery is reading full, or it's in float charge and it's reading close to full, and I've got an AC source like a generator or a grid available, and I'm in auto connect. I want to make sure I'm in auto connect. This one's in time connect. Uh, all you got to do is hold down the charger button and hold it down for five seconds, and five five to ten seconds, and it should start to equalize. If it doesn't start to equalize, you either don't have grid or a generator, or you're not in auto connect. If you want to switch it to auto connect, hit the control button, go to AC in control, select. And roll it over to auto connect, and that connects it automatically to the grid. Thank you for watching.